Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to carry on now where I left in the last video um, and explain exactly what's on the uh, electrical board here. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. So what we've got is we've got the Victron uh, MPPT 100-30 30 amp solar charge controller. Then we've got the 1000 watt, supposed to be a pure sine wave inverter, but I doubt that very much. It's a 1000 watt or 2000 watt surge. I've seen a couple of other YouTubers who have had these units and have not had the best of experiences with them and a couple of them have blown up. I've been running the Henry Hoover off of this uh, quite a bit because this was in my last self build and I was using it to run the Henry Hoover and it, it's been doing it absolutely fine. So I've had no issues with it at the moment. It's got, it's good. It's got a control panel that will go on the, the main control panel that I make wherever it may go. But I should just keep an eye on it and and um, I'm not going to replace it. If it works at the moment, it works. Uh, then we've got the Numax battery charger that works off 240 volts. So they'll charge the batteries when we're on electric hookup. We've got the Sterling B2B 1260. So that's a 60 amp battery to battery charger. This is the shunt that's from the Victron BMV 712 battery monitoring system that I'm going to use. Um, then that goes into the shunt. So every single negative in this system will go through the shunt. That's how the battery monitor works apparently. First time I'm ever going to set one up on this van or any other previous van. Uh, then we've got the 12 volt fuse box and of course the 240 volt fuse box. We've got some breakers and that's the positive bus bar. So today I'm going to start wiring up some of the items. I've got some cable and some terminals left so I'll, I'll wire up what I've got and then once I've pretty much reached as much as I can do with this I'm then going to start on with a framework for the overhead lockers. All the other framework that I've built uh, all the floor standing framework. Obviously there's lots more that needs doing to those like the drawer unit that goes beside this. That all needs like the, the, the batten in across ready for the drawer runners. So that needs quite a lot of work doing the kitchen area. I've still got the locker over here to do and the cooker framework. Yeah, so today I'm gonna start on the framework for the, the overhead lockers and probably crack on with, with that side as well. Right, let's carry on. This is why I wanted access to be able to get my hands down the back so I can reach any wire and pull it down because at the moment that's how it's I'll tell you what, it's all snagging up on this um, solar cable so if I just remove this I keep banging my watch so I'll take my watch off, be careful with that. for a long walk. This will be your home away from home soon. Tell you what, I know a lot of dogs are like it but anyone who wants a Belgian Malinois the they molt a lot. Yeah but they're the best dogs at home. Oh amazing dogs. Hey gorgeous. Hey come here. What's up? Go on then. Right, call her, sweetheart. Oh no, and here's the other one. Right, we've got, everyone's seen, seen Mally, but they ain't seen Chewy. Come here, Chewy. And this is Chewy. Hey, Chewy. <laughs> right, go on then, off you go. So these are mainly the terminals I'm using, that's for 50 mil square cable, 35 mil square cable, and I've got some 25. This negative just going through the floor. Some people take it all the way back to the battery, but 
it's five meters of cable whereas I've used about a meter here and it's a perfectly good earth. You need three hands to operate these things. Morning Derek. Morning Mrs. What are you shit the bed or something? I thought I'd get down there early because I know Derek's gonna pester me anytime soon so I better get as much done as possible. Well, if only I knew what I was doing. Yeah, good help. Oh. Oh man, that's made for it. There you go. Oh. There we go. I wouldn't cut that right off yet until yeah, you've got, got the other end fitted. I ain't got another end. Yeah. Ain't that? What? What? The other end of that? What about it? Well, Stand on it? the battery. Well, what bit's that? No, that's... Listen, this goes on the battery. I know. Right, that's it. And I've got to get the terminals. I ain't got none. So that'll just... No, I, when we threaded that through, I didn't see you connect that. Yeah, it's into the charger I didn't now. see you do that. me, you stood there watching me do it. Have a lay down, Derek. Have a I, beer. I can't. Look, you ain't made me bed yet. There you go, boy. Cut these two bits. Oh, well done, mate. Good man. No, you just got to press the button. <laughs> and then I'd go back to it. You just I'd press go... the button once, pull the trigger, and start cutting. It's, it's, it's a soft start. Yeah, right. So as you push, it goes really slow. And people keep pressing the button to try and speed it up, but it don't. The harder you push, it goes faster. Yeah. I couldn't even get it. I'm standing there going... Why ain't it working? <laughs> pushed the button on the top, pushed the little black button on the side, thinking it was that. And then I thought, no, that's the lock, that is. That's it. So then you got, I've got a positive cable going from here, through there, onto there, simple as that. That's the positive bus bar dealt with. The it's negative. Negative. Um, I'm just going to hook up this 240 volt now and the battery charger as well. I've just got to get wait for the terminals to arrive, the inverter. So that's pretty much the electrical install taken care of. All I've got to do now is start running a, a shed load of um, cable. We've been on this an hour and we know that it probably takes everybody else five minutes. Swapping the door over. Because we, I'll show you in a bit, but we needed to swap the door over because it used to open that way. We've now got it so it opens that way. See, yeah, we've got it all. We've got it all sorted. But between the two of us arguing, we've realised you you need to be rocket scientists. But it might be because it's the end of the day. We're finished, and the beer's out now. So, um, right. Derek reckons it goes like this. Screen side up. But I reckon it goes like that. So I'm gonna do them up because Derek says so. And if it's wrong, I'm gonna kick you You're in the bottom. You're wrong again. Right, that has to sit there. Yeah? Yeah. It has to. That number two, speed things up. Yeah. But what is this all about? I don't. That's it, it goes up there, it's a stopper there. Yeah, but we don't want to stop it, we want to shut the bloody door, yeah, not stop shut. it. Look, hold on, let me just step there, mate. It... I mean, it should be something to that. You're not equipped, speaking. <laughs> <laughs> right, I ain't got a clue what that's all about then. Well, and neither of you, to be fair. I know, no, I know what it is. You're an idiot, you've put it on upside down. You've put that on upside down, mate. I know what it, I know what it is. Oh. Honestly, you put it upside down. Take screws, take screws. 
Right, so that works. Okay, that works, agreed? Yep. All right guys, it's the end of the day. Derek's gone home, he looks knackered. It's been one of those days where we really don't feel like we've achieved anything, but we've done a lot. I've been sat on this box all day, wiring up all the electrical components in, in the cupboard here. But because it's all hidden, you don't feel like you've actually done anything. It's like spaghetti junction at the back, but there's nothing. It don't look any different to yesterday. I know I've achieved a fair bit because it's one of those tedious jobs that needs doing. Just like running the gas pipe from the LPG tank once I've got, you know, with a pipe bender, I use a pipe bender. It's just all tedious, but it needs doing, because it, it's hidden, you really don't feel like you've achieved anything. But, so anyway, I'm going to call it a day now, and hello, sweetheart. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What service is that? You're right. Yeah, you're right. What's your YouTube channel? I have you. Oh, oh really? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love it. Do you know what? Every time you go by, I sit there <laughs> and I wait. So now you I know love it's the all bike. About you. Absolutely. I absolutely. I did not oh, know wow. you got a bloody dog on the back. Look. What are doing now? We'll start fitting things to the uh, water tank. The water fill point, I'm not sure what hole saws I've, I've got. I'm going to go through them all. So, right for this one, I'm going to need. Oh, oh, spotty! No, that's not right. Didn't see that shamf bit there. So that will cut that, but not that. So, right. I've got any bigger. I'm looking for a larger hole saw. Shower, right. I can fit a shower, shower, shower. What size do I need for that? That's too big. Oh, there we go. That's the kitty. Anybody else really need music? When they're doing work, they want music and it just, it really gets you going. So you're doing these videos for YouTube. You can't put your music on, but you've got the camera running and I just want to turn the radio on. So I'm going to stop recording while I'm faffing about, put the music on and yeah. Right, let's start drilling some holes. Let's go to a point of no return, eh? And if you're wondering about all the bits and pieces, all you do is the lunch with this. It's actually got a little bit of water in it at the moment. We get the big bits out that have just fallen in there because some, sometimes they stay in the in the um, hole saw, but this has dropped in there. So we'll get them out, and then you just keep filling it up with water until all the bits just spill out of the out of the the um, water tank. Basically, that's it. Without complicating things. My suggestion when you seal these. First of all, the only time you really need to access this once this is all cleaned out and it's installed is to give it a good clean out. But I personally prefer just to wet the um, rubber seal. So when you tighten it up, it really, it's not dry. Like, like when you do an oil filter change, you always put a little bit of oil on the, um, on the gasket, the rubber gasket. Obviously you're not gonna put oil on this. So I would just moisten it up with a bit of water. So anyway. Um, but I need this off now, so that can stay out of the way so I can't find it in a bit. The rubber rings on these, they go on the outside, perfect fit, there we go. Now I'm going to do the same here, there's water in the tank, I want that
That'll do, mate. There's the bit. Right now, next, water pro. Water sensor. Water level indicator. Uh, what did I say the size was? Probably the size I ain't got. 57, I think. 57. 58, it'd be bloody tight. And I'm not gonna go and get one specifically for that. So this is gonna fit even if I have to start gnawing away at the edges myself. I bloody would if I knew where the arbor was. There we go. All right, let's cut another hole. We're gonna go right there. I hope this is big enough. If I sort of do that a bit, it might make it a bit bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna have two taps. I'm gonna have the main, the main uh, sort of like big swan neck tap that, that has the pull out bit that's weighted and pulls itself back the shower tap. We're gonna have that, we're gonna have another tap in line that's just for drinking water, but we're gonna have the filter, a water filter in, in line on that one. Does this fit? That's bloody tight, I reckon if I twist this around in there a little bit, it might sort of melt it away. Yeah, that's got hot, that's melted it away. We do what we gotta do. Derek's been with me half day today. Useless git. We've actually achieved quite a lot. We've managed to get the water heater in, um, the whole cutting. We've got the shower done. We've got the water tanking with the uh, water filling point. Um, it actually is very time consuming. Trying to cut holes in the side of this thing is an absolute nightmare because you're cutting through one skin and then you've got to keep whatever you're cutting absolutely dead straight going through 60 mil of insulation to cut through the next skin. So it's been a challenge. Certainly the flu for the Malaga water heat has been, been a nightmare to be honest with you, but we got it right first time. We did a minor adjustment, but it was acceptable the first time. So um, anyway, right, I'm gonna draw this video to a close and, um, and uh, I'll catch you all later. See you in the next episode. The new year, one of the new year, yeah. <laughs>